Hello, my name's James. I'm going to show you how you turn your stop tap off to isolate the water in your house. So as you can see, I'm just turning that tap to the right. So if you think righty tighty, lefty loosey. So this stop tap is really, really stiff. So what I'm using is the a little adjustable spanner just to give a little bit of extra leverage. Um, but yeah, if, if your stop tap's really stiff like that, um, you know, you might want to think about getting it changed. Um, but yeah, maybe spray a bit of WD-40 on the um, on the spindle, and that um, that can help it loosen up. So you can see, I'm just opening it back up. But when you open up uh, stop taps, they can sometimes start leaking out of the packing gland, and you can see that happening with this one. So it's just dripping out the packing gland. And that's just a little, a little nut that just wants tightening back up. So what I do is get the adjustable spanner on it, um, brace against the part, uh, the the valve, so hold the, the valve, and then just give it a nip. And that should that should solve it. If you can't turn off your stop tap, then definitely think about getting it replaced. Don't force the handle when you're trying to turn it off. If it's not going to close, it's not going to close. Um, so if you really need to turn the water off, then find the stop tap outside of the property.